Hello, intactivists. Intactivists around the United States, around the world. It's Christmas Eve. And I am feeling the love. We are fighting together to end the cruel genital mutilation of American boys in the cradle. Just absolutely obscene what American doctors are doing. Circumcision doesn't take a day off, neither do I. I've been working hard, just got off of a TikTok live, and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna go on Facebook and do a live here now. If you're not on TikTok, I suggest you start an account. There's a lot of intactivism going on there. I have a couple of videos on my TikTok page that have, uh, one video has two and a half, uh, three and a half million views. Another video has uh, two million views. Uh, just TikTok is ripe for intactivism. So if you're a diehard intactivist and if you're watching this live video, you probably are, start a TikTok account. I, I became a believer. Um, one of my friends talked me into it to, to start a TikTok account and I couldn't believe what I saw. There's just so much intactivism going on on TikTok. So uh, I, I wanna invite all of you and turn around here. You can see the sunset behind me. I captured the, uh, that, what, what you see in the background, that's the uh, Pacific Range, the California Coastal Range, the Pacific Ocean, San Francisco Bay Area on the other side of those mountains. Let me uh, flip the camera here. Um, yeah, so I captured that. Uh, it was really fiery. Uh, that blood red blaze in the western sky above the Pacific Ocean there, that's the uh, San Francisco Bay Area out beyond the coastal range in California. You actually can't even see the coastal range now. It, but I'm looking uh, due west, San Francisco Bay Area, about uh, 70 miles from where I'm standing. And that's the sunset over the Pacific Ocean. Gene says, uh, happy new, thank you. April, hello. Alyssa, hello. So I will be in Florida. I fly to Orlando, Florida on January the 18th. I have to go in a day early because of the uh, poor flight connections. Because even flying in on uh, January 18th, I get into Orlando late. Just uh, I fly out of a regional airport here. Um, if you live in, near one of the big city airports, you'd have an easier time to get to Orlando by air. But at any rate, I fly to Orlando on January 18th. I meet the road crew at the Orlando airport on January 19th, and we hit the ground running. 26 cities in Florida, ladies and gentlemen, January 20th to February 1st. You can see the full schedule on our website at bloodstainedmen.com. Go to the drop-down menu on the right. Haley, hi, Haley. Katie. Thank you, Jean. Go to the uh, drop-down menu on the right on our website, bloodstainedmen.com, and you will see our schedule. Everything you need to know to join Bloodstained Men on the front lines of this struggle for human rights in the United States, everything you need to know is there on our website, and uh, the events all link to the Facebook page, the Facebook event pages as well. We made an, uh, an event page for each of the 26 uh, protests. We're really excited about our Florida tour, ladies and gentlemen. We've never been to Key West. We're going to uh, do two protests in Key West. We're, go we're going to be in Orlando, Tampa, St. Petersburg, uh, Kissimmee. Um, too many cities for me to even remember them all at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. You can see I've posted numerous times about them. I've invited a lot of you. I still have more uh, working through all my friends in Florida to invite you to the uh, cities nearest you in Florida. But please do, uh, if you live in Florida or if you live within driving distance of, this will be central and southern Florida. If you live within uh, driving distance of central and southern Florida, join us. Tell your friends. If you, you have friends who live in uh, southern Florida, join us. on. The, we need your help out there, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to have a huge road crew. We're going to have nine or ten people on our road crew. And we are all volunteers. Um, 
your donations don't pay any of us. We, your donations go only for our travel expenses. None of us get paid. And that's my word of honor and that's my pledge. There's just not enough money to do Bloodstained Men and pay people. So that's why we've been so successful because we have just gotten enough volunteers and then you come out and join us. We get incredible social media responses, reports on social media, people post about us, and that goes viral. Local media come out and interview us, uh, newspaper, TV, uh, radio. We have generated, well, we've been in over 500 cities since we started Bloodstained Men uh, 10 years ago. We've been in over 500 cities. Let me turn around, see if the lighting is better. Yeah, I think you, there's a couple of street lights near here. Let's see, Taylor uh, says, Merry Christmas, thank you. Tiffany, hello. Uh, Katie, yeah, hi, happy to hear, yes, yes, so we will be in Florida, we need your help to get it out, ladies and gentlemen, we need your help to get the word out, when we go to cities, we put, I mean, we've been planning this for a long time, we spent a lot of money to get it organized, that's what, that's where your donations come in, we could not, we could not do these protest tours without your donations, so do donate what you can, and you can uh, donate either through Facebook, uh, or through um, through our website where there's uh, a donate button and several different ways to uh, donate to Bloodstained Men. That's what pays the bills for our road crew tours, our, our uh, travel uh, and lodging expenses. None of us get paid, ladies and gentlemen, none of us. So I will uh, be with Bloodstained Men. I would love to meet you and your family. We are family friendly. Um, children have been coming out and joining us. Children, moms, dads, our grandparents have been coming out and joining Bloodstained Men on the front line from the beginning. And many of you watching this broadcast or who will later see the rerun of this broadcast, many of you have joined us. And you can, uh, you're can you an eyewitness to the uh, family-friendly atmosphere at Bloodstained Men protest. Because intactivism is about families. It is about families, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are Christmas Eve and how we love our families how we love our families. And that's that's why I'm an intactivist, because I know that you and the American people, you love your families the way I love my family. And it is just unbelievably cruel, unbelievably cruel to welcome a newborn boy to life with a knife to his genitals. It is just, it, it, it I, I mean, that's why, that's why uh, there's been so little done against it, ladies and gentlemen. It just, it stuns you. It stuns you with the enormity of the cruelty, the enormity of the crime against our people. It just stuns you. And it can stun it can stun a person into inaction. It can stun a person into apathy. And we have people say, well, there can't be anything wrong with it. Our doctors wouldn't do it. These are greedy, corrupt, money-making, avaricious guys and girls, men and women, who got their medical degree, I've seen the reports, they became doctors only to make money. And so here's circumcision, a $2 billion milk cow dropped in their laps. It's just unbelievable. They're not going to give it up. They're not going to give it up until we make them give it up. We make them give it up by force of public shame, by force of law. It will... Uh, uh, Ultimately, it will come down to the law. The law is going to have to stop these monsters who hide behind stethoscopes to torture and mutilate the genitals of our children. Of course, they would claim it's for your own good. Of course, they would. That's baloney. Tyrants always claim that their cruelty and their stern measures are for the good of the people. But we know it's always about them. It's always about them. And that's what infant genital mutilation is, ladies and gentlemen. It's all about these greed merchants who hide behind stethoscopes to commit their crime, to commit their crime against our people. So I did just come off of a live on TikTok. I've probably uh, said about what I want to say. I we, we need your help, ladies and gentlemen. We need your help. I will be uh, downloading. Uh, the, the difference between a Facebook Live and a TikTok Live is once you end the TikTok Live, it's not there. It vanishes. So I will have to download, and all the comments vanish. So I will have to download it, and I will, uh, uh, when it becomes available, usually I think it takes uh, overnight, I will uh, uh, edit parts of it and uh, post some of it here to my page uh, tomorrow. But Merry Christmas, ladies and gentlemen. Merry Christmas. Um, I'm, not taking, I'm not taking any time off because, as I've been saying 
for all 10 years of bloodstained men. The circumcisers don't take a holiday. Neither do I. Neither do I. They don't rest. I don't rest. I have just begun to fight, and with your help, we will end this cruelty, this scourge, this curse over our land, this, this general mutilation that has cursed our lives in ways known and unknown. We know that it, a deep national wound has been inflicted on our people, ladies and gentlemen, a deep, profound, psychological, physical, emotional, spiritual wound has been inflicted on our nation by these greed merchants with stethoscopes. They have no place to hide now, ladies and gentlemen, no place to hide. So join me and the Bloodstained Men Road Crew on the front lines of the struggle for human rights. Please do uh, uh, go to uh, all our events. They're, they're all posted up all over uh, the Bloodstained Men and their friends' uh, Facebook uh, uh, page. Share the events. Just That's how social media works. We need your help on getting the word out. Uh, I, I was just mentioning earlier that so many times we leave a city and there are all kinds of uh, social media and other posts about us and people come on and say, oh my God, I, I live five minutes from there. How come I didn't know you were in town? And that always happens, ladies and gentlemen. You've probably seen it. Someone, many people literally do not know we're in town. We've had people drive by and see us and they're like, they're like, what? Bloodstained men are here? They had no idea. So help us get the word out. It's all about getting the word out, ladies and gentlemen, that I and the Bloodstained Men, we will be in Florida for two weeks from January 20th to February 1st. I'm very, very excited. We're going to uh, parts of Florida we've never been to. We're going to Key West and uh, all the way up to Orlando and then uh, the uh, uh, Atlantic coast, a little bit north of that, I believe it's called the Port Orange. And uh, we're working on a billboard for the Florida tour. Your donations make all of this possible, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you very much. Uh, God bless you and your families. Merry Christmas to all of you and to all a good night. And you can see it's almost uh, total dark will be here uh, in about uh, 10 minutes. Philip says, can't believe it's been a decade since you found out. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, well, that's that's when we started Bloodstained Men. Stephanie is watching. Destiny Davis, thank you. So you can see the uh, schedule um, by going to the Facebook page, Bloodstained Men and their friends, look at our events, or just go right to our website. Everything you need to know is on our website at bloodstainedmen.com. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Have a beautiful, beautiful, blessed Christmas. Life is a gift, and I want every day of it. Awesome. Destiny's going to join us. Wonderful.